Hey guys, Noah here. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I do my falsies. A lot of my friends ask me how I do them and I feel like it's very simple, so it's like kind of weird for me to do a whole video about it, but I'm going to be doing it because everybody keeps asking. So my main thing is you're not gonna get it right on the first time. I think I did it like 50 times or something before it became easy to me where I could just like throw them on and not even have to like really fuss with them. But like the first 50 times were super, super hard. I would like put them on, they would look horrible. I would take them off, put them on, take them off. Like trial and error, man. I mean, that's really what it is. Don't give up if you keep trying it and they look funky. It takes a while to perfect it. So I'm gonna share with you guys how I do it and hopefully that helps you guys perfect yours. I feel like everybody's eye shape is different. So the way I do it may not work for you and the way you do it may not work for me. So really try to figure out your eye shape that's like the best advice I can give you. Once you figure out your eye shape and like how to bend the lash to really suit your eye is really gonna make a huge difference. The first thing I recommend is you have to try it with a good lash. So for example, I just filmed a video right now and I got these Elf, Elf Lux Lash Kit. They were super cheap and I was like, oh, they're really cute. Let me try them out, right? It was horrible. Even I couldn't get it to sit on me right and i just want to share with you guys a comparison between these and the ones that i use all right so these are the elf ones and if you could see the band is super thick and dark black it's also not very bendable and then let me show you guys the ones that i love these are the ardell wispies i don't have the packaging anymore because i just use them all the time but you can see it says they're ardell wispies i buy the multi-pack because it's just so much more bang for your buck and I take them off with tweezers and I'm super, super gentle because they break easily because the lash band is so delicate and good. Like you want it to be delicate because that's a good lash. Let me show you guys a comparison of these two. Do you see how much darker the e.l.f. one is and how the Ardell one is super, super, almost not even there. Like the lash band almost looks clear, but the e.l.f. one is like black. That's the difference. This one is so much bendier. This one's so stiff. Like it's hard to tell through the camera, but trust me, you need to try this with a good lash. I feel like you could make the thick elf ones work. Maybe if you put a ton of eyeliner on, but a lot of people ask me how I put these on with no eyeliner and still make it blend. So I'm gonna share with you guys. So one of the things is when you take it out of the packaging, there's still some glue on here and it's the glue that keeps the lash sticking to the box so you're gonna want to just use your finger and take some of that off because it's gonna just make the band thinner and not look so chunky on your eye you can also use tweezers to take that off i use the duo lash glue it's always available at target so i buy it and i buy the white i feel like it works better than the clear or the black the black one was horrible for me. It just didn't, it wasn't sticky. So put the glue on any sort of surface. I use the Sephora mirror for this. Then I kind of swipe this across. Now it's gonna sit on your lash like this and you're really gonna wanna try to make the glue on the back and not the front. There's no reason for glue to be on this side of the lash because it's just gonna sit like this and it's just gonna make your lashes look more white. I swipe it just cause I'm so used to it but let me actually show you guys without having to swipe it. Take your tweezers, put some glue on your tweezers, and then you're just gonna put these on the back of the lash. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what I did. As you can see, the front does not have any glue on it, but the back does. So sometimes if I'm, you sit and wait for the glue to get tacky, sometimes while I'm sitting and waiting for the glue to get tacky, I will wipe off the excess if there are is any on the front. So I'll just go like this. And I didn't have any on the front, so I'm good. So now you wait for the glue to dry. You don't want it to be completely dry, but you don't want it to be completely wet. It needs to have like a good middle ground. And this is one of the things that is just gonna take practice. Trial and error, you're gonna put it on and be like, oh darn, it's too wet, or oh darn, it's too dry. That just takes time to like really know what it, what you need to look for. While you're waiting for this to dry, this is a good time to clean the glue off of your 
tweezers that you had used to apply the glue onto the lash because you're gonna use these tweezers again and you need them to be clean. Well, another thing that people ask me is how do you know which eye to put it on? So the answer to that is you always want the shorter lashes on the inside of your eye right here towards the inner tear duct and then you want the longer lashes to be at the end outer corner of your eye. The Ardell Wispies, the ones I use, are very very hard to tell which one's the inner part and which one's the outer part because they're kind of, I'll show you guys, it's kind of the same. These are just super full all around. I like that for my eye shape because I feel like I have very big eyes and I feel like a small lash and a small like short lash in the middle is just not going to show up on my eye that's why i use these but i feel like a lot of the ardells are going to be similar also when i do want it to be more like shorter to long sometimes i will cut these but i do this is like the important part you kind of place it where you want it to be but it doesn't have to be perfect right when you're placing it you're going to place it and then use the tweezers to maneuver it to exactly where you want to be so a lot of people freak out because when they place it right here it's not what they want it where they want it to be now you use your tweezers and place it exactly where you want it to be so my rule of thumb is to make the outer part all the way on the end so this part is going to be all the way to the end of my lashes where my lashes end and then whatever remains is going to be on the inner part Being in front of camera is hard. So I kind of got this part where I want it to be, but the inner corner is all messed up. So I'm going to move it around. And then I'm just going to keep pressing it onto the skin until it dries. And this is a very important step. Sometimes if like it's being finicky, I'll even hold it with the tweezers where I want it to be and I'll just sit and wait like that because I really want it to dry down there. Does that make sense? Mine dried pretty quickly. I did wait until it was a really good tackiness. And then I just keep pressing it closer to my lashes. And that's pretty much it. Taking it off here, gently. And when you take them out of the packaging, sometimes there's still glue, the glue that holds it to the box make sure you remove that because if you don't it's gonna end up on your eye now i'm going to put my lash glue on it but do you see how that dried and then obviously there's white because it's still drying but it's gonna dry clear and don't be afraid it kind of takes a while for that white glue to dry everybody's like oh my god it's not drying but that's like because you're in a rush honestly time it give it 10 minutes it's going to be dry we're gonna just put it on and then maneuver it with the tweezers Sometimes I just want the middle to stick somewhere so that I can maneuver it. You see how I messed up a little bit, but I'm gonna try to save it and keep going. So that was like a perfect example. I couldn't place it properly because I'm like, I don't really have a good place to look so that you guys could see. And then I'm just going to do the same thing and keep pushing it close to the lash line until it's completely dry. Let's take a look at the glue here. It's only been a few minutes, but it's drying a little bit. So while I'm waiting for it to dry, I will curl them. You want to be kind of careful with curling them because sometimes the lash falls off with the curling eye, the curling, what is this called? The lash curler. Sometimes the lash falls off with the lash curler. So you want to be careful. If you aren't comfortable with doing it right now, wait until the lash is a little bit more dry. And so when you curl your lashes, you always go like this, you know, you push it down super hard. With falsies, you're going to tap it. You're not going to push hard. So you're going to go boop. That's it because you don't want it to be so crazy. And this helps blend your lashes and the lash together. And another thing, a lot of people put on mascara before they put on falsies. I personally can't do that because 
the falsies won't sit properly and it also looks weird because your lashes are all clumped together and like look like they have mascara but the falsies are like bare like they're dry i don't know how to explain it but if you are uncomfortable what you can do and i'm not gonna do it because it don't mess my lashes up is you can put it on now you know what i mean to help blend them together but i never do that i feel with these lashes you don't need to so try the ardell wispies and let me know if you felt like you had to or not another thing that really helps is you can tight line underneath your eye and that helps blend in and so i'm gonna do that for you guys just so you could see the difference so this is the mark jacobs just you can use any black eyeliner and you're gonna put it on underneath here in your waterline i'm just gonna do it on the outer end do you see how that like blends it a little bit better like it just looks black and black instead of here it's like black and cream so i'm just gonna do that same thing here and that just helps blend it a little bit better if you are insecure about it showing another thing you can do which i don't always do is i take like a liquid eyeliner and i will just kind of dab it on parts where you could see the band so you see how that it's still a little bit what i'll just dab it I'm not putting it on my skin at all i'm only putting it on the lash band And that's just to help blend it together if you are feeling insecure about it. I don't always do this. And then what I like to do is put mascara on my bottom lashes because your top lashes are so boom, but your bottom lashes are nothing. It kind of looks weird to me. So I just put a little bit and I use dark brown mascara instead of black. So it's not so extreme. And that's it that's how i do my false lashes so hopefully this tutorial was a little bit helpful for you guys let me know if you try it out post some pictures you can tag me on instagram i'll insert my instagram right here it's noah rose and you can tag me on instagram and show me if you did try it out i would love to see especially if you use the ardell wispies i would love to see how it looks on you guys and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget that I do upload every single Thursday and Sunday. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel before you leave. Like, comment, and all that. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!